or just making an observation. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Uh, oh, so okay. So, blah, blah, blah. so the friends, we just noticed that the last couple of times that we've gone to the gym it is completely dead. And before Christmas, just like the first few days right before Christmas, it was ridiculously busy, like to the point where Kyle and I couldn't even go to the gym for a few weeks because we couldn't get machines. And then New Year's, you might as well, like there's no parking spots, there's no yeah. equipment, there's nothing. Come, yeah, come January, like January 1st, it was so bad, we worked out at home um, for the first few weeks. Then it's now, you know, the end of February and it is dead. So it got us to thinking, Every single year, everybody, you know, the majority of people that we know make New Year's resolutions. They go on a diet, they join a gym, or they just start going to the gym. And every single year, by the end of February, they're off their diet, they're done going to the gym, their resolutions are out the window, and then they do it again and again, year after year. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So what we wanted to basically say is you need to stop lying to yourself and be honest with what you want. We had to do this too because that was us failing year after year doing New Year's resolutions, trying diets every Monday morning and then failing every January and failing. We had to get honest with what we wanted and do it. When you figure out what it is that you want, then you don't need to wait for New Year's. You don't need to um, you know, wait till Monday. You can start right away. So basically the first thing you have to figure out is, and this is where you need to be very honest because a lot of people will say, well, I wanna get muscular. But getting muscular involves eating more and putting on a little bit of weight. So then people go, well, no, I just want to be small. You need to figure that out. Do you want to be strong and be a power lifter? Do you want to have muscle? Do you want to just be skinny? You know, do you want to be fit? Do you not want to lose weight and just lift weights? It's what do you want? If you just want to be small, then don't say you want to put on muscle and, and weight train. Do cardio to lose weight. You need to be honest with what you want. Um, because what happens is when people fail at what they force themselves to do because they're not being honest, they come and attack us in the comment section. So for example, when New Year's resolutions start failing, we get a lot of hate on our cheat day videos saying, you know, you're disgusting, um, you eat way too much, these are binges, um, I can't watch you, I don't like you anymore because you eat like that, I'm unsubscribing. What are you, know, you guys? What are you? Um, what? How come you're not losing more weight? Well, we've lost 130 pounds each, so we don't need to lose any more weight. We've been honest about what we want now. What we want is to put on muscle. Sometimes we put on muscle, sometimes we lean out to show that muscle and we go back and forth. That's what we've chosen to do. Instead of attacking other people or getting mad at other people who are being successful because they've figured out what they want, figure out what you want and it's okay Whatever you want is okay. Don't, but what you shouldn't do, and we did this too, we're guilty of this, get mad at others around you for being successful, for figuring it out. We did that when we were failing because we didn't want to look at ourselves and be honest with what we wanted. It's a lot easier to criticize other people that are happy than to take a hard look in the mirror at yourself yes. and dig up all the skeletons from your own closet. It's really tough work, that personal inner work. Yeah, so instead of getting mad at us and leaving us, you know, negative comments um, about what we're doing, figure out what you're wanting to do and be happy with who you are. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. 
we've had to be ha we have to be happy with who we are and we've found it and we're being successful and it's amazing to be successful and to have a partner that's on the same page and we're really happy doing what we're doing so we find that because people see us happy and they're struggling we get a lot of attacks we get a lot of negative um, comments and because we don't act do or look like many other people they try to define us like are you guys why don't you guys do competitive eating why don't you lose more weight why don't you are you going to compete are you going to you know you should do all these eating challenges or you should be professional athletes or you should go on stage or you should have this these number goals we don't we mm -hmm. we've been on youtube three years we have over 500 videos we are just us and we can't be anything else exactly so what we want to tell you is figure out what you want then lay out a plan to get it and be proud of yourself don't listen to anyone around you don't listen to magazines don't listen to youtube videos don't listen to us we're just showing you what we do you need to listen to yourself so once you lay out your plan you need to not say i'm going to lose weight by going on a diet and cutting out all my junk food and i'm going to the gym when you're a person that loves eating treats hates working out at the gym and hates diet food you need to figure out what you like if you hate cardio don't make yourself do cardio or do if you hate treadmills and gym cardio go for a walk outside if you get a gym membership and you don't want to be at the gym you're going to rebel at some point don't get a gym membership if you don't truly love being at the gym work out at home or dance yeah, you don't need to be at the gym no you don't have to do a workout like a typical workout do something you love to do there are some people i know that use cleaning and dancing as their workout and they love it and they stay fit doing that so find what you love don't force yourself to do exercise that you don't want to do that's tip number one to be successful at what you want Tip number two is don't force yourself to eat things you don't want to eat like if kale is the new trend. Don't force yourself to eat kale if you don't like it. Find things that you like that are more nutritious for during the week and then allow yourself treats. Allow yourself things that you like along your journey as well. Instead of forcing yourself to track macros when you fail every single time or forcing yourself to go on a keto diet or a fad diet when it backfires every time. Do eat what you enjoy in portion, exercise the way you enjoy, and make the goals that you want, not what other people want or what you think other people think you should want. It's what you want. Yeah, you're allowed yeah. to look any way you want to look if, yeah. if you're if you like eating but you also like lifting you can go be really right. strong and you, you'll look the way you want to look and that's most important because me and Nicole we never have fit into any molds our whole life and we no. we just can't and when we tried to fit into society's boxes and definitions we failed exactly do you think like um it's taken us a long time to work up to having no guilt around a cheat day. In the beginning, when we were getting rude comments all the time, did we feel guilty about it and think, oh, maybe we shouldn't have a cheat day because no one else does and it's bad? Yeah, we did. But then we realized that was other people's ideas of what we should be doing. When we step back and look at it, having a cheat day has saved us from our eating disorders. We no longer engage in eating disorder activity. We love the gym. We actually breathe in the smell of the sweat and the stink when we <laughs> walk in the gym doors and go, ah, oh, we're home. We love it. We crave the smell of the gym. We crave the gym. If we, and uh, we've been getting some criticism on uh, doing cardio every day lately. I love that. That's part of my day. When I wake up, if I don't do it, well, I don't not do it because I love it. But if I weren't to do it, it would feel like my day wasn't complete. I enjoy that. That's 20 minutes of my day where I get my head, my, my head together. But if you don't like it, don't do it. 
but don't criticize others who do. Basically, we wanted to say in this video, don't judge others, don't judge yourself. Love yourself, accept who you want to be, what you want to look like, what you want to eat, and embrace it and go for your goals. Do what you want and don't worry about anyone else. Don't judge them positive or negative. Just embrace what you want. Don't judge what you want and be you. And we try to, we share everything we've got. You guys see our ups, our downs. We share our eating disorder struggles with you guys. But we, everything we eat, we're we, honest. We show, when we understand that, we're easy targets for yes. the internet to criticize because we show the dirty, naughty foods that we eat as well as the clean foods. Yeah. There are a ton of channels and we're not talking crap. We're just making observations. There are a ton of people on social media that criticize others that about their food that what they eat, but they themselves do not show a single thing of what they eat or they'll just show one meal yeah, or maybe one treat. They don't show the whole thing like me and Nicole do. We show everything. And, and we, if you can get any tips from that or any part of the lifestyle change that we've made for a positive. If or you, just, ins yeah, inspiration. If you get any inspiration or, or you get anything from that, that's why we have the channel. It's not because we are saying you need to do what we're doing. Or you need to agree with us. No. no. You don't need to agree with us. You don't need to like anything that we're doing. You don't need to have a cheat day. You don't need to not have a cheat day. No, you can do what we wanted to do was say, guess what? There's an alternative way to do things. We've done it. We're living proof that you can eat treats, have a cheat, whatever, or not. And make your own path. And lose weight or build muscle, or do whatever it is that you want, We've done and be it. happy. We've done, and we get criticized that you guys can't build muscle eating what you're eating, and then the same week, or same day, we'll get criticized you can't lose weight having a cheat day. We've done it all. Yes. We've leaned we out, we've bulked, we've lost weight, all by just manipulating our diet and still having treats. Exactly. So, our information is there for you guys to if you want to try it, go for it. If you don't, and you just like watching, or you just hate to watch us, but you watch us anyway, or whatever it is, do it and embrace it and be proud of it. And just be who you are. And just know that we're here to inspire you. You don't need to do anything that you see on this channel or like it or agree with it. We just want to inspire you and encourage you to accept who you are without feeling guilty and to do what you want in life. So, thanks for watching my fine friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe or what? Uh-oh. Funny bobbers of doom. <laughs> Bye. Oh my, my eye. Oh God. <laughs> Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.